All right, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, this is me and my brother Sante, and uh, we just wanted to talk about how we came out of the New Age. Specifically, I'm going to be asking my brother here some questions. Um, I guess I just want to kind of start off by talking about how, you know, how how much pride the the New Age really brings into you. It's a deception, you know, because you think that you're a humble person. You think that you're like shedding your ego, right? Did you ever? Hear that term, like ego shedding or whatever they call it? The the ego death? Yeah, the ego death. Yeah. Yep. What do you think about that now, now that you're no longer in the new age? You realize it was a lot of pride, huh? Yeah, a lot of pride and sanity. Like, it, I would do something like to kill your ego. You would have to lay down on the floor and visualize that you're dead in oh. order to kill your ego. Right. So it's just insane. But that's and, not real biblical humility. That's just like... You know, in actuality, how does that actually bring you any humility? You know what I mean? It really okay. So we were talking about how, you know, we used to, like, look at other people as, like, you're stupid for not being a new ager like me. Like, you don't really realize it's prideful at the time. You're just kind of, like, looking down on people, and, and you're not actively realizing that it's prideful. Would you say a similar thing? Could you describe that a little bit? How you could look back and realize all the pride that it brought in? Oh yeah, it definitely blinds you and it makes you very prideful. Like for example, I would be meditating and I would walk around school and I would just look at I would be like, look at all these sheep. They're so they're so asleep. Right. And I would be like, I'm so woke. Um, my my conscience is so is so high. That's how I would walk around. I would tell. I would even tell my own parents that you guys are like asleep. You guys don't know the reality. Right. Yeah. And I would, yeah, little did I know I was being deceived. You know? Yeah, definitely. And that's the thing, actually, that keeps you in the new age is the pride. Not only really, not so much really the false doctrine, but more so the pride. Now that I'm thinking about it, even right now, because you look back on it and you're like, that doctrine doesn't make any sense. Like we're all gods. That's definitely not the case. So what's the deception more than the, the, the beliefs or the doctrine is more so the pride, would you agree? Oh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So anyways, I just wanted to ask you, brother, um, you know, a little bit if you wanted to share your testimony of how you came out of the New Age, because I know you were doing some pretty intense stuff like astral projection and all that. Do you want to just give like a short testimony of how you got into that and then how how the Lord pulled you out of it? Yeah, sure. So, how it all started was, I would I was scrolling around YouTube and like I would come across these woke channels talking about um, like oh sun gaze, oh meditate, thirty minutes a day, and I was like I've never heard about this, but nobody's doing it, so let me let me find out what it, what it's all about. You know, it's saying that it's gonna clear up your mind, it's saying it's gonna bring you more riches, all of that stuff. It's gonna make you successful. It's gonna. You're gonna. You're not gonna be depressed anymore. You're not gonna care about anything. Anything anymore. You're just gonna. You're just gonna live life according to how you want to live it, without a care in the world. You know. And uh, I started off meditating with like music of high frequencies. Uh, I would go on my roof every day. I would meditate for thirty minutes a day just starting off i didn't know how to meditate and then sooner like soon in my like deceptive walk <laughs> in a way um i started meditating for hours for two hours and i would just get lost in my own mind i wouldn't think at all i wouldn't even feel alive if i'm being honest and that's when i knew like I don't know if I was actually project projecting because um, I feel like it could have been some demons tricking me into believing that I was. But in reality, it was just a visualization. You know? They would just like I would just visualize uh, like me like I don't even know like being like somewhere else like me flying somewhere else. I don't know. Hmm. Like a lot of stuff has to do with flying, like witchcraft, all that stuff, like how witches fly. Right. Interesting how there's a correlation between the New Age astral projection and then, the, yeah, that whole situation with witchcraft, right? Oh, yeah. 
So yeah, and then time went by, and then, um, I started. What I started doing, I started to sun gaze, look at the sun, like look directly at the sun, and I'm pretty sure back then in the days of like uh, Egypt, they would worship the sun, right. and that's I mean that's like kind of idolizing the sun in a way because I would look at it for like a long long periods of time, and they would tell me that that doesn't do no, any harm to your eyes that you can look at it for like 10 minutes for 30 minutes and it won't do any harm and i would do it and i would actually i would ignore the the eye pain i would ignore it mm. because in my mind i always believe that oh this isn't gonna bring me any damage it's not gonna damage my eyes right and then yeah i would just look at it i look at the sun the whole day at school i would like People would be outside eating lunch. I would go to the front and I would look at the sun. Um, I went to my roof every day to moon gaze. Then I would look at the moon. I guess that gave you clear, like uh, like clarity in the mind, like clear thoughts right. of what you want and stuff. And yeah, and then like I just, the whole thing just kept getting more extreme. I got into the law of attraction try to manifest my own reality i just kept looking in areas where you know it's just this never-ending cycle and then i believe we were, we were all gods right and uh, yeah so what did all of this new age practice and and doctrine did it really bring any long-lasting benefit to your life did it change you for the better would you say no it just brought many demons of pride confusion um doubt doubt spirits because right. i still doubt in my mind that oh wait god god isn't real like they, they're speaking in my mind so it's a very dangerous practice and i advise if you're if you're on that practice if you're doing yoga meditation all that stuff that you leave it and you accept the lord because that's what i did and the lord spoke to me through a video on youtube saying how the new age is demonic and you're opening up yourself to demons and the lord paralyzed my whole body for me to watch that video because my pride wanted to leave my pride wanted me to get out of the room he literally so stuck you to watching it huh yeah he paralyzed me i was just like i couldn't move at all like my feet they were everything was paralyzed in my body and then i was like okay lord i didn't say lord i was like okay like this is weird why why can't i move so i was like i guess i'm gonna just have to watch it now you know i don't really want to watch it but i'm gonna watch it and then i watched it and then she explained how it's all demonic and she explained everything, every practice that I was doing, and the founders, I guess the founder of the New Age, she's a Luciferian, right. all stuff like that. Yeah, just facts about, like, the origins of the New Age. Right. And to call. Yeah, and then after that, I, I just cried out to the Lord. Amen. Praise God, yeah. You know, it's really interesting, these New Agers and uh, the, the teachers thereof, they promise you... It's like it says in, in the book of Second Peter, it says, They promise you life, but they themselves are the servants of corruption. They promise you liberty, but they themselves are the servants of corruption, you know? So, in reality, they're serving the devil. And you don't realize it, like, you know, the New Age really loads you up with a lot of demons. And I know that you've been going through, you know, getting deliverance. Did you realize that you were letting in all of those demons when you were doing those New Age practices, or...? No, it blinds you, and another thing it does, it offers you a lot of stuff. It offers you um, materialistic, worldly things. Yeah, sounds like but, what the devil was trying to do to Jesus in the desert, right? <laughs> yep, exactly. Yeah. yeah, so praise God that uh, you were able to come out of that. Praise God that I was able to come out of that. And uh, that's that's just really amazing, brother. So I wanted to ask you as well, too, you know, you've been going through deliverance and, and getting those spirits out here recently. How would you say that that has benefited your walk with the Lord since you've been going through deliverance? It has really benefited my walk. It has made my mind, like, more more clear, more more focused on the what I need to be doing, like praying, reading, fasting. Right. You know, um, just giving my all to the Lord, it's really clear in my mind what I need to do. Now I just need to act on them. And I feel like when I got delivered off the new age, I feel like a like just a giant snake just coming out of my mouth, you know, like Amen. Praise like, God. Yep. Yeah. I just want to say for everybody who's watching this, you know, it's really important to get deliverance when you come out of the new age. 
some new agers get like so afraid since they've been deceived into the new age in times past that they just shut themselves off to like all spiritual experiences altogether but that's very dangerous as well too because then that hinders you from getting deliverance but if you come out of the new age me and my brother can testify that you're going to need to get deliverance Otherwise, it's going to seriously hinder your walk, right? Because a lot of demons come in through it, and you want to get those demons cast out in Jesus' name. Amen? Oh, yeah. Like, the Tao is going to be fighting with you. Like, oh, wait. Remember this. Jesus isn't real because of this, this, this. Just demons speaking in your mind. The doubt, the pride. You really have to get delivered off that. Amen. Praise God. Is there anything else you want to say, brother, uh, for anybody who might be doing New Age practices or anything that you want to say about deliverance that you would want to close up the, the testimony with? I would just like to say you're looking, you're looking for fulfillment in the wrong areas. You're trying to find like this, you're trying to receive this like, what's like, um, you're trying to find like a secret to life, but there's no secret, it's right in front of you, you know? Right, it really Christ. is right in front of you. Amen. Right in front of you. Amen, yeah. And the amazing thing about Christianity is the Lord is actually seeking you out. And you can see that in your testimony. The Lord glued you to watch that video. And it was Him seeking you out. So there's a lot of New Agers that are really seeking for God, right? Or they're seeking, they're, but they're not seeking. They're seeking God in a sense, but in another sense, they're, they're seeking in the wrong areas, right? So... Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just find that really interesting, you know, but sorry, I didn't There's mean to cut... What's up, brother? I didn't mean to cut you off. Was there anything else you were gonna say? Oh, I was just gonna say there's like many like new age influence influencers out in like the public and YouTube websites, all that stuff. And uh it's really easy for someone to get deceived into the new age. Right. It's really easy. Yeah, definitely, especially because of the aspect that it loads you up with pride, right? So. Oh, yeah, yeah. The pride, yeah. the everything, the but, everything that it has, like, like that it offers you, it's really ungodly. It's yeah. not worth it at all. No, it's, it's definitely concern. not worth it. And then I wanted to say, well, too, how the fact that, you know, the New Age really, you know, the doctrines thereof, you realize how foolish they are once you come out of them, like believing that we're all gods or, you know, I can manifest my own reality through the law of attraction. It, the re it, it's, it's not logical. It's not reasonable. It's just appealing. It's almost like, you know, with the serpent in the Garden, Garden of Eden offering Eve the fruit it wasn't that it was really logical to eat that fruit. It was just really appealing, right? And that's the same thing with the New Age. The beliefs thereof are really not not logical. I remember when I was in the New Age, I never had like a full-scale conclusion of my whole, like, my whole beliefs. Like, where am I going to go when I die? I never even had those basic beliefs founded while I was following this religion. <laughs> Did you? Did you have like everything figured out with your beliefs or you were just doing these no, practices, huh? No, I would just um I would I would just think in my mind like, oh, the most reasonable one is probably reincarnation. Well I was like, no, that's right. not the case. Right. But you get you get really deceived by the influencers, like they deceive you into believing that reincarnation is real, that this, this and that, you know, like Right. And especially because it's so worldly. Like people use the term karma, people use the term like um Yeah. Like they we literally have yoga classes in school, you know. That's ridiculous. Yep. We have I have in every school in Arizona we have a yoga class. Like in school. Wow. Praise God that and I got out of the public school. <laughs> they make it mandatory, huh? That's ridiculous. Yep. So the new age is creeping into the schools. Guess it's oh, already yeah. kind of been there for a while, but it's becoming more blatant, huh? Oh yeah, really wicked. So we need to get this out to New Agers and warn them that they need to turn to the true Messiah, the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Praise God. Amen, brother. Okay, brother. Thanks for giving the testimony. Yeah, no problem. And if you're a New Ager listening to this, 
You can receive freedom and forgiveness in Jesus Christ if you believe in his work on the cross and you turn from your sins. You can have everlasting life and not the deception that Satan wants to offer you. Amen. Amen.